sér krummi ef þestjel Ett neg binda gokken vel Flöj úr fjalla gjóðu Flöj úr fjalla gjóðu chapter we'll start with the I. <laughs> I. Uh, I have some red on the brush to just uh, paint the very edges of the eyes. And in this kind of scale you want to get closer to being anatomically correct with your eyes. Of course, if you're doing a 28 millimeter miniature, this might not be possible. Well, it's, it's probably so possible, but um, not not for me. <laughs> but um, so this is kind of uh, important. The larger the eyes get, the more realistic they have to be. Yeah, and the more details you really want to put in there. Um, okay, so I'll try to put a tiny highlight there. Um, so I've red on the brush and white on the tip. enough we just need a, a little bit the eye to be a little bit redder over there and with the tiny highlight it's so like an additional highlight that you will just slightly see in the end um, I'm mixing quite a light skin color for the eyes um, Important thing to mention. I think we mentioned that a hundred times before, but uh, nevertheless, it's important to to point that out. Never go for straight straight white yep. with the for the white of the eyes. You also want to keep that uh, dark border between the eyelids and the and the actual eye. Yep. You don't push it all the way in the corners. Okay. Uh, it's a bit brighter.
Yeah, I think the that tone should be okay for the white of the eyes um, because we will um, later on as well uh, place a highlight there. So we still need some room on top. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Her eye color should be uh, a dark blue green tone. We'll mix um, some uh, orc turquoise, rucksack tan, and black together. Uh, because it's still wet right now, you still have, you have this kind of uh, natural reflex point in the eyes and all looks pretty good. Now it's gone. <laughs> yeah, plus I went a little bit overboard in the last, last second here on the side. Let's go right. And when you don't know how to do eyes correctly, when Google is your friend in this area, and uh, definitely make sure to understand how much of the iris is actually hidden by the eyelids. Um, you don't see the whole iris when you look at the eye. Yeah, getting eyes right in miniature painting is kind of tricky because it really depends on how well things are sculpted, yep. um, how big it is, how big it is, how round actually the the eyeball itself is sculpted. Um, it's kind of tricky also to get the eyes look in the, in the same direction. Yeah. I think almost, almost <clears throat> the last one needs to be a little lower. I think it, it should work once we place the other elements in the eye. Um, I will add a little bit lighter color here on the, the lower side of the iris. Try to leave a little bit darker line, the green. Like an outline? Yeah, like uh, a lot of eyes are um, a little darker around the iris, so mm. they have like a natural outline there. Some black for the pupils. I'm actually crawling into the monitor right now for some video. Yeah, but uh, after editing, it's all a little bit bigger. But uh, really quite amazing to see. And the highlight in the eye is really, really, really important. That strong reflex of light. Yeah. 
And that was too big. <laughs> it is a strong reflex, though. Yes. I like. Okay, and again, try to make this room here a tiny bit smaller. And I mentioned earlier that we will also put a tiny reflex here on the white. This, this highlighting of the eyeball as, as, a, as a spheroid or as, as a ball basically is so important with the eye to get this um, volume really right. Yeah. So, um, I think I, uh, I like it so far. The interesting thing about um, the eyes is that we are still going to add makeup um, mm -hmm. a little bit around the, the eye. Uh, so that will also increase the dramatic effect. Um, I will mix a little bit of uh, black, turquoise and a little bit of red beige. And we will try to bring this actually a little bit above the upper lid. And then take the wet brush and pull it a little over the lid and use the tone underneath a little bit as a highlight. a bit more of the uh, skin color in there to soften it out at the top. And actually it's not really softening out, it's more adding again a bit of a highlight there. And I try to Go just under the eyebrow area. Mm -hmm.
need uh, we also need some uh, a little bit on the lower lid uh, we have to be extremely careful with the lower lid uh, to not make her sick and tired I look sick and tired I will repeat the same uh, thing on the other side and we will be back for eyelid adjustment, uh, adjustments on the eyes. Nice. All right. Cool. Um, okay. While working on the um, on the makeup on that I I I or Michael <laughs> <laughs> discovered that the eyes are not 100% alike. Uh, we thought that it might be the um, the iris, but I think it's because we have uh, the just the line that separates the eyelid from the eyeball is different in on both eyes, yeah. and so we have a pretty thick one on the left eye. Well, not thick, but it's a noticeable one, and it's not that visible on the right eye. Yeah. So I'm trying to actually because I like the size of the of the iris. I would just try to soft out the line. Ben actually said, I said, uh, are we going to show this on cam? He said, well, I might mess this up now. I said, well, then we're definitely going to show it off cam. <laughs> well, of course, you don't mess up, so. So, boo, boo to that. Okay, uh, also the, the makeup is a little bit bigger here on the side. Yeah. Um, it's kind of like on the other side before you did the, uh, the base tone again. But yeah, you can see how you can easily correct. Let's just use the the base color again. Of the correct regarding the eyes is that line here. See, it's separated with a little of the, that red that's drawn in there earlier. Again, even though the eyes themselves were done in a few minutes, really, um, spending time on the eyes uh, just to refine everything is. Definitely time well spent. Yeah. All right. Awesome. So um, I think in the next step we will uh, highlight the lips and draw in a little bit of the eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And uh, then we should refine the skin and we are done with the face, I think. Some highlights on the ears maybe with that we will do uh, together with the refining of the skin. Yeah. Okay, cool.
er krummei ef þestjel, et neg bende gokken vel, flöi úr fjalla gjóðu, flöi úr fjalla gjóðu. Vítið.